Hey yo, welcome back everybody to another video a part of Game Raiders Week 3. We are here, we're checking out a little mod called Weapon Out. Now, Weapon Out has two versions. One is just Weapon Out regular that adds in a bunch of content. And one is just Weapon Out Lite, which adds in Weapon Out. You may be like, what the fuck? What does that mean? Look. Your weapon is out. See, my weapon is on my back. This weapon is a little bit big to put on my back. But hey, the portal gun, not too bad on my back. But yeah, we're playing with the regular weapon out because the regular weapon out adds in a whole new, we're going to say subclass. It adds in a whole new subclass where you can literally punch things with your fist. And look, there's a bunch of weapons that you can just punch people with. And it's really fun. So in this video, we're going to go over a couple of the basics. I'm not going to get too in detail and use every single fist, but I have picked out a couple of ones that i want to show off because these ones are pretty cool looking and uh we're gonna go over the basics real quick so there's three type of fist weapon there's ones where you right click and you dash you see here with these boxing gloves these are like one of the first ones you can get your hands on and dash with and then there's ones where you parry say i'm about to take damage i right click and i parry it let's see if we can test that out right now on a monster or something okay you just fell down all right so let's show off the parry here we're gonna try and build up our combo first i don't know what the hell that was we're gonna try and build up our combo first and get it to like 13 and then we're gonna parry the damage boom that did like 31 that's actually a kind of small amount i mean we don't have any accessories or armor on that's what the parry does let's move on to the knuckle duster which is the first one you can do a combo with i think is what it's called let's build up our combo first if you see those blue numbers that's our combo we build it up and then we let it unleash and it just it just hits the dude straight up that's really it and that's it that's the three type of abilities you have from the fist weapons dash parry and combo and you know obviously as you get stronger weapons they become stronger but let's move on to the armor sets that they have now there's a couple of armor sets and they all look pretty cool some of them don't have helmets though like a dedicated helmet to the set which is good because that means you can mix and match and you'll still get the set bonus you'll even get new set bonuses i think if you mix and match a couple of them but let's put on this box set i should probably take off the armor nice i feel like lil mac what y'all think i look good we got the fist matching the set you know i would prefer red boxing gloves i, I mean i guess there's a sparring mitt but you no know, boxing gloves would be cooler what else do we got we got the shaolin outfit uh and then i got wanderer headband with it wow that looks actually really cool i like that uh we have the champion set here which i don't know if it's a full set or not because this has a different color champion laurels champion belt and champion guards oh shit okay the laurel does definitely not go along with it we look like we're, we're about to hop in the the ring the wwe ring i like that set that says cool i like all these sets so far let's try the trousers and the master's headband nice nice i like it too uh let's do the dough box stuff and the apprentice headband this looks like this matches i like this one this is one of the early ones you can get to so it's really cool and then we got the dynasty set plus the prize fighter helmet so yeah all the armor sets look really cool set bonuses at least with this see like i said there's like a bunch of combos and stuff that you can mix and match i think honestly whatever you put keeps the same set bonus right no look it doesn't have a set bonus now so maybe this is a set i don't so i've handpicked a couple of fist weapons that stood out to me and you know i was just messing around with them and they look cool so let's go ahead let's see what they do starting with this one the shotgun knuckle duster right click to shoot or consume combo to blast away combo grants ammo restoration per strike so the left click makes a shooting noise already but if you right click you actually shoot which is pretty cool so let's see let's put it against an enemy here what did it say about the combo i have no idea this thing does a lot of damage though it says something about the combo hold up this thing does a lot of damage what the hell <laughs> the combo grants ammo restoration right click the shoot or consume combo to blast away yeah moving on to the next one i found the hidden dragon right click to dash through enemies dash grants 100 percent increased melee damage and knockback combo causes damage to echo to nearby enemies so can we even get a combo up if we oh my god moving on to the next fist booster fist right click the dash through enemies dash grants 100 percent increase melee damage comma grants and follow up punch and it just says rocket punch i don't want to say that out loud though it'll sound funny so let's do it let's punch this hoe okay so there's the right click Ooh, what did it say the combo does it's a follow-up punch so i'm assuming you can punch 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 and then boom and then into a punch so when you hit the right click for the combo you go into a punch i don't, I don't even know what what type of glove is this is it a combo this is a dash glove isn't it 
Oh my god, you saw that? Okay, so that's what they meant. A fist literally flew out and punched it. <laughs> okay, I know what it means now. Moving on, Polaris Punch. Uh, right click to dash or to, you can consume combo to unleash a deadly combo and dash. So this is like two in one. Dash for a projectile deflecting punch. Increase length of combo by five seconds while held. Uh, channel power of the constellation. So dash to deflect projectiles. What's an enemy that shoots projectiles? Like I need an enemy that actually shoots you. Do it, do it. Okay, so it deflects it. It doesn't send it back. I would kind of wish it reflect. Holy shit, he was in me for a hundred a hit. We're gonna move on to the blooded bang bang nas. Somebody told me how to say this. I forgot how. Uh, right click consumes combo and life to greatly increase melee damage. So if I right click, I'm giving up life to do more damage. Combo inflicts Ico and steals life for enemies. So if we summon a fairly strong enemy here, what is a fairly strong enemy? Tim. We can life steal. It's a very little amount. At least that's what it looks like. It's a very little amount. No, it's not bad. Looking at the top right right now, I, I gained like 30 health right there. Yeah, not too bad. The right click, was it? It says sacrifices health. Do I have to have a combo to do the right click? I think I do have to have a combo to do the right click. Okay. Okay, okay. That's almost like a 20 combo. And right click. Whoa. <laughs> Moving on to the next weapon, the Curse Gadling? Gadling? Right click to dash your enemies, dash your 30% increase melee damage and knockback. Combo causes enemies to take more damage from fire. Interesting. So does this inflict fire damage too? That's the real question. It does not, it does. So this seems like a good combo on higher health enemies, like a boss or something. So you inflict fire into it and then you just start wailing on them. So you dash into them to make them take more damage and then you just start beating on them so they catch on fire more. Okay, okay, interesting. Let's move on to the demon hand. Combo grants increase melee damage at the cost of defense. Might makes right. I click dash. Okay, so this steals life too. Okay, that's not bad then. Steals life? Of course, anything that steals life is a good thing unless it's really bad life steal. Then it's not so good. Am I stealing life right now? It did not look like I was stealing life. Instead, I might fuck around and die, honestly. Look at my health. Who would have thought that goblins hit so hard? <laughs> Moving on to the final three here. We got the barbed knuckles. Is it terrible? No, it's terrible. That's the reforge. Combo grants an orbiting ball of thorns. Okay, orbiting ball of thorns. See, it's probably be easier. Oh, probably don't kill myself. It's probably easier if, uh, oh, there's a ball of thorns. Look at that. Hit him. Hit him. Ooh, it actually did hit him. And what, what was the right click? Zooms combo for a temporary barrier. Okay, so let's build up our combo and then let's see this barrier. So I'm very interested to see the barrier. I don't know what I was talking about. I was gonna say something earlier. I completely forgot. Ooh, okay. I like this one. This one's really cool. Yeah, let's move on to the next one. I don't know when this disappears. Hopefully soon. We're gonna move on to the patchy pounder. Right click to parry incoming damage. Yep. And then strike through enemies to mark them. Counter strike to detonate marked enemies. Combo grants increase explosive potential. So we just blow stuff up. All right, I got it. Boom, boom. And then we. And then what? Do they blow up or do we? Do I right click to them? Oh god. <laughs> okay, so they just they just blow up eventually. Oh, I one tapped all those guys. What the heck? How did I one tap the thieves and stuff? What the heck? The thieves got more health than the warriors? And then what? Oh, it's just a bomb that slowly goes off. Damn, that's cool as hell. Last but not least, I don't know if this one's the coolest. Right click to dash you enemy or right click to dash you enemies. Dash grant 75% increased melee and knockback. Combo leaves a chili slipstream that amplifies frost burn. So another amplification one, just like the fire one, how it made it more do more damage. So not bad, you know. Amplifying damage is always good, especially when that damage type is your you know primary source of damage. What the fuck did I just say? So we're gonna put the fist up to the test against a boss and we're gonna fight grand thunderbird probably gonna be the easiest boss might be the weakest honestly as you can see the damage is insane you can do a little upwards hit here if you uh hit w and hit left click you can go upwards if you just point upwards you attack upwards and then if you attack to left and right obviously you attack to left or right i don't know is there a downwards thing i don't know oh there is i know there's like a dive kick isn't this the dive kick that you can do i'm gonna do it right here Boom! Look at that. That's like Goomba stomping a bitch. Maybe the Queen Jellyfish is a harder enemy. I don't know. I just need something that can absorb some hits. Ooh, the uppercut. That was like a double tap on the uppercut. Oh my god. What a combo coming out from Game Raiders 101. The best boxer in the world. Don't get it confused anymore. But yeah, the reason why I didn't go into too much detail with this mod is because I do plan to do another series. If you don't know, I've done a series with weapon out and punching before, but you know, I kind of gave up on this series because it had Terraria overhaul in it and a bunch of other mods. 
that I'm not used to in it. It just made the feeling weird every time I played it. So potentially in the future, maybe even as a stream playthrough, I don't know, maybe as a regular playthrough, as you guys know, if you've been watching the channel for a long time, I haven't posted a regular playthrough episode in a minute. And that's because I just feel weird recording them every now and then, but they'll come back eventually. Just give it a while. I don't know how long a while will be, but give it a while. But yeah. If you guys want me to do a playthrough with a weapon out in the fist, let me know. Cause maybe I could do a stream playthrough. Maybe I'll do a regular playthrough. We will see. We'll see what the feedback is, but I really like this mod a lot. I, I like the fist stuff. The fist stuff is very interesting. Even if it's not its own class, I like it. It's a subclass that does very well is what I should say. Unlike subclasses like Tremor, you know, the alchemist, that's, that's pretty, it's literally just the rowing. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to check out the mod and also leave a comment if you guys want me to potentially do a playthrough in the future with this mod. And I love you guys. Make sure to hit that like and sub button. Thank you for what, 58K? We're about to hit 58K, I think. And then we hit 57K last night or yesterday. But yeah, thank you guys a lot. I love you guys. We're almost at 60K. I hope you're enjoying Gamer's Week too. Bye, 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 bye. I love you, no homo. Or, or full homo. Hey, make sure to check out my live stream channel, VOD Raiders 101. That's where I'm going to be posting all my Twitch live streams. So make sure to go sub to it. I just posted a live stream today on there. So go check it out.